The 2024 Roadhouse remake failed to continue one Patrick Swayze movie trend, but the upcoming sequel to his $214 million smash hit can correct this. When the remakes of 1984's Red Dawn and 1991's Point Break both bombed, it suggested that remakes of Patrick Swayze movies might be cursed. Thankfully, 2024's Roadhouse destroyed this Patrick Swayze remake trend by proving to be a successful adaptation of the 1989 movie. One of the reasons the Roadhouse remake worked was because it changed enough of the source material to work as a standalone film while still honoring its roots. In order for 2024's Roadhouse to be different from the original movie, though, it had to cut out some major components. There are a lot of things the 2024 Roadhouse remake leaves out from the original 1989 movie, including characters, plot details, and songs. While it made sense for the songs on the Roadhouse 2024 soundtrack to be updated to fit the modern setting, the exclusion of one song in particular broke another Swayze movie trend for the worst. However, the upcoming sequel to one of Swayze's biggest and most famous movies can redeem this loss. Patrick Swayze's love scenes in Roadhouse and Dirty Dancing play the same song, two years apart. Otis Redding's These Arms of Mine plays during the same type of scene in both movies. In Roadhouse, 1989, Dalton brings his love interest, Dr. Elizabeth Clay, Kelly Lynch, up to his room and flips through the radio stations before settling on These Arms of Mine by R&B soul singer Otis Redding. The romantic ballad from 1962 plays throughout the rest of the scene, during which Dalton and Elizabeth sleep together for the first time. Strangely enough, this was not the first time this particular song was played during a Patrick Swayze love scene in a movie. Two years before Roadhouse, Swayze starred in the romantic drama Dirty Dancing, arguably his best-known role to date. Swayze played Johnny, a dance instructor at a resort in the Catskills who falls for Jennifer Grey's character Baby when she secretly fills in as his dance partner behind her parents' backs. Later that same night after their big performance, Baby goes against her father's orders not to see Johnny again. When she arrives at Johnny's cabin, These Arms of Mine is playing on the record player. After a passionate conversation, Cry to Me by Solomon Burke begins playing, and they start sensually dancing before finally sleeping together for the first time. This scene is quite controversial in retrospect, given Johnny and Baby's age gap in Dirty Dancing, but the music is particularly memorable and significant, especially since These Arms of Mine would be featured in the same kind of love scene in Roadhouse only two years later. There's no indication that this song was chosen as a deliberate reference to Dirty Dancing, but it's hard to believe it was just a random coincidence, not only was Dirty Dancing a recent release, it was also an unexpected hit that cleaned up at the box office, raking in $214 million worldwide, via Box Office Mojo. Not to mention, Dirty Dancing was Swayze's true breakthrough performance that really put him on the map, earning him his first of three Golden Globe nominations for Best Actor. It seems unlikely that nobody on Roadhouse would have pointed out that These Arms of Mine was also in Dirty Dancing, especially since it appears to have been the first movie to feature the song on its soundtrack.